Hello everyone, in this video we are going to discuss about the, the relation between flow rate, velocity and area, right? So let's suppose if you are working in a process engineering domain or the any engineering discipline where you, you deal with the flow rate, velocity, area or you work in a plant, so this video is must for you. And while line sizing as well, this video is must for you. And let's suppose if you know the flow rate and area, you can simply find out the velocity with the continuity equation, right? So you don't need to again and again solve the problem or you don't need to again and again calculate. What you can simply do, you can make the Excel sheet and with the help of this Excel sheet, you, you have to simply put the value of the, let's suppose whatever the known variable you know, you can simply find out the unknown variable. I hope you got the point what I want to say. So if you will see here, so this is my one pipeline. Okay, let's suppose the water is flowing from this pipeline. Let's assume that you know the flow rate within this pipeline or the, you know the flow rate of water and you know the area because the dia you know, right? And with the, with the help of the dia, you can simply find out the area by the pi r square. Okay, and the r, if you, if you know the dia, so simply r will be r is equal to d by 2, simply you can put here. So you will find out that pi d square by 4, this is the formula and when you will divide pi by 4, so it will be your 0 0.785. So when you will multiply 0 0.785 into d square, so simply you can find out the area. Are you getting my point what I want to say? So what you have to do, simply you have to make the Excel formula sheet so that your time could be saved. So in this our scenario, what we have done, let's suppose you know the two value. If you know the two variable, you can say or the two value you say, let's suppose the flow rate and area, then velocity you can find out. Or let's suppose if you know the flow rate and velocity, you can find out the area and with the help of the area, you can find out the dia of the pipe or the size of the pipe, right? This is very, very important video. So what we have done here, we know the flow rate, that's unit is in cubic meter per hour. We know the area, that's unit is in meter square. So from the continuity equation, if we want to find out the velocity, then what will be the velocity? It will be flow rate divided by area, right? So the unit of the velocity is meter per second. So about the continuity equation, if you want to know more about the continuity equation, so I have already made one separate video about the continuity equation. You must watch that video after this video, right? So let's see here how I have made the formula here. So just double click in the E7 cell. So when you will double click in the E7 cell, so you will find out here that what we have done simply E5, this is the flow rate divided by 3600 because there is the unit in the cubic meter per hour and you have to convert that hour into the second so what you will do simply you will divide cubic meter you simply you will divide e5 with the 3600 and then divide by e6 that is the area right so this is your formula so here simply meter per second is the your velocity right in meter per second there is the velocity and if you will convert that velocity in the centimeter per second so simply you could simply multiply with the 100. I hope you got the point what I want to tell you. Now this is the one case okay this is the one excel sheet formula you can simply say where you have to simply put the flow rate let's suppose 200 and then the area let's suppose 30 so this is your velocity. Are you getting my point? So now just I do the undo here. Now in the second scenario, see here, what I have done, I am just finding the diameter of the pipe. So how you can find out the diameter? Simply if you know the area, you can find out the diameter. Okay. So this is your diameter that is 5 meter. Are you getting my point? What I want to say? This is a very, very simple mathematical scenario, nothing else right and from the area you can find out the diameter same if you know the diameter that is let's suppose the point 0.1 point 0.1 means 100 m 100 centimeter right so you can find out the area that is pi means 0 0.785 into r into simply your d square 
सो वट इज द डी दैट इज जीरो पॉइंट वन इंटू जीरो पॉइंट वन देन सिंपली यू कैन फाइंड आउट हेयर दी इफ यू नो द एरिया दिस इज योअर एरिया राइट दिस इज योअर एरिया नाउ यू कैन सिंपली फाइंड आउट द वेलॉसिटी हाउ सो वेन यू वॉन्ट टू फाइंड आउट द वेलॉसिटी वट यू हैव टू डू सिंपली यू नो द एरिया एंड यू नो द फ्लो रेट सो ई फाइव दिस वन जस्ट सिंपली डबल क्लिक हेयर सो ई फाइव डिवाइडेड बाई योर ई फोर्टी ओके फ्रॉम देयर यू कैन फाइंड आउट द वेलॉसिटी राइट आर यू गेटिंग माई पॉइंट नाउ सी हेयर इफ यू नो द वेलॉसिटी एंड एरिया देन यू कैन फाइंड आउट द फ्लो रेट हाउ सिंपली डबल क्लिक हेयर सो क्यू इज इक्वल टू वी इन टू ए सो सिंपली सी हेयर वट वी हैव टू डू नथिंग वी हैव टू डू क्यू इज इक्वल टू वी इन टू ए सो यू हैव टू मल्टीप्लाई दिस सो जस्ट डबल क्लिक हेयर एट द ई सिक्सटीन सो एरिया इन टू वेलॉसिटी यू कैन सिंपली फाइंड आउट द योर फ्लो रेट सो देर इज अ वन क्वेश्चन फॉर यू ऑल एंड द क्वेश्चन इज डेट वाई आई हैव मल्टीप्लाई हेयर विद दी थर्टी सिक्स हंड्रेड This is the question for you all. Please let me in the comments box, right? So this was the just one Excel sheet which I have prepared. If you will say so, I'll share this Excel sheet in the our Telegram channel in the Core Engineering. You can sim you can simply tell me in the comments box. So if you have learned something new from this video, please let me in the comments box. Let me in the comments box that which type of the videos you want. I'll simply make that videos for you. so that's all for the today's video thanks for watching till then keep learning